If you choose to follow Satan, then you will go to the place that Satan is going. see Christ today Are you kidding me we got before it's too late say lies like that Jesus Christ says the word of God says no one born of God makes a practice of sinning for God's seed abides in him and he cannot keep on sinning because he has been born of God and I ask you today ladies and gentlemen are you born of God does the Spirit of God live inside of you today are you living a life unto Christ today? I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has granted me needed strength and made me available, able for this because he considered me faithful and trustworthy, pitting, pitting me into service for this ministry. Even though I was formerly a blasphemer of our Lord, a persecutor of his church, a shameful and outrageous and violent aggressor towards the believers. Yet I was shown mercy because I acted out of ignorance and unbelief. The grace of our Lord, his amazing unmerited favor and blessing flowed out in severance for me together with the faith and love which are realized in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful and trustworthy statement desiring full acceptance and approval that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners among whom I am foremost yet for this reason I found mercy so that in me as the foremost of sinners Jesus Christ might demonstrate his perfect patience as an example or pattern for those who believe in him for eternal life who wishes all people who wishes all people to be saved to come to the knowledge and the recognition the recognition of the divine truth for there is only one God ladies and gentlemen one God and only one mediator between God and men, the man, Christ Jesus, who gave himself as a ransom, a sacrifice to atone. Because today God desires that you know the truth. God desires that you know the truth. The word of God says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation. From his wrath and punishment to everyone who believes in Christ as Savior. To the Jew first and also the Greek. For in the gospel the righteousness of God is revealed both springing from faith and leading to faith. Disclosed in a way that awakens more faith. For as it is written and forever remains written, the just and the upright shall live by faith. You know who God is. Everyone knows who Jesus is. But the question is, are you living? for Christ or are you just living here to die we all have a date with death everyone here will eventually leave this world but what separates the children of God from the children of wrath is those who let who step into eternity to everlasting life will you today if you was to take your last breath, will you be stepping in to everlasting life? Why am I here today? Because I want you to know the good news. But I also want you to know what will happen if you continue on in life and ignore God and reject God. It's not good. For once it is appointed unto men to die, and then comes the judgment. You will stand before the throne, the great white throne of judgment. And God will step before you and he will ask you, why did you not turn to me? 
Why did you not turn to me? God bless you. Why did you not listen? I love you. I went to the cross for you. I got nails in my hands and feet for you. I got whips on my back for you. Come on now, are you there? Hello? Hello? Is anybody home? The car lights are on, the engine on, but are you on? First, someone must speak the gospel. The, amen. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. They must speak the gospel. How would they hear without a preacher? How will they hear without a preacher? How would they be able to call upon the name of the one who can save them? Jesus can save you. Sir, ma'am, you right there, you, you. Jesus can save you. He can save you no matter what situations you're facing. So many people were facing financial struggles in 2020, lost their job, lost their house, lost this, that, and the other. But the children of God never lost God. You lost all the material things in the world. But you didn't lose God. I didn't lose God. What happened was not meant to destroy you. It was meant to bring you to God, to set aside the distractions, the distractions of Verizon and Walmart and Wawa and all these different places, all these different distractions. Because so many people are set upon material things, the phone, the TV, the money, all these different things. They're set upon these things that is meant to distract them, meant to separate them. You see, it's easy, ladies and gentlemen, to understand that sin separates you from God. It's also easy to understand that Jesus Christ is the bridge from you to God. You must believe in Jesus Christ. You cannot get into heaven any other way. Mary is not going to save you. I'm sorry, Catholics. <laughs> Mary's not going to save you. The saints are not going to save you. That, that little statue in your yard, it's not going to save you. It got no power in it. During the, the, the lockdown, all the Indians in India, they started throwing their, their, their statues away because they realized that it had no power. It didn't have no power. I'm telling you, the real power is through Jesus Christ, the power of God. Jesus went to the cross for you and me. You can have eternal life right now. Your address can change from hell to heaven. But Satan does not want you to know who God is. He does not want you to know the power of God. He does not want you to know that if you become a Christian, you, if you get saved, you can have authority over demons. Say what? Authority who over who? Demons. Unclean spirits. They don't want you to rise. Satan hates you. He does not want you to live. If it was up to him, you wouldn't be breathing right now. You would not even exist. So it's time for us to understand who God really is. What the message of God is. Because it's not religion. It's the relationship. It's always start in the relationship. Marriage is a product from God. And it's not to be abused. The love of God is not to be abused. It's not a license to sin. Lukewarm Christians. It is not a license to sin. He's real. I know that he's real. Oh, he is real. I know that he's real. Jesus is real. He woke you up this morning. Jesus, give you life this day. The Lord is real, ladies and gentlemen. He's real. He woke me up this morning. On me on my way. Where did I go? I know that he's real. Yeah, he's real. Jesus is real. Jesus is calling you. Jesus Christ is calling you. Jesus. 
He wants you. He died on the cross for you. For your sins. Jesus, the nails went into his hand. I'm telling you today, ladies and gentlemen, God has been calling you from the very beginning. He's real. We have to turn away from the sin. I know that he's real. Somebody and wave your hand. I know that he's real. Just wave your hand. I know that he's real. Jesus, the name above every name. The Bible says that every name, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. The Lord is real. Jesus Christ can save you today. No matter what you have done in your life, God can forgive you. He is real. Jesus Christ is real. So many people, I can't live without that is why I love him so he is real Jesus he's real to me Jesus he's real to me praise the Lord amen Jesus he's real to me Praise the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. You probably committed adultery last night. Fornication last night. You probably just got finished looking at pornography. I don't care who you are. God wants you. God wants you. Because he loves you. And I want you to be saved. Ladies and gentlemen, are you hearing me? Please, I plead with you today that hell is a real place. You will go there. You will go. If you do not repent. God bless you, brother. You will go. Oh, no credit score going to save you. Oh, no. Oh, I paid my mortgage on time. How can God send me to hell? You will go. If you don't repent of your sin, you will go. But God does not want you to go. That's the love of God. Oh, I love the Lord right now. All my heart, all my mind, all my strength. I love my neighbor so much. I come out here and I preach to my neighbor. Who is my neighbor? You are my neighbor.